Welcome back to the Mowing in the Dark podcast. I am your host, Aaron Sutter. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Guys, I am feeling a little under the weather today. I've got a very scratchy throat. Uh, my boys have had colds and they've run through them pretty quick. And I think I'm running through this one pretty quick, but just not feeling very well today. So this is going to be a very short episode. As a lawn care provider, do you want to make a year-round income? Are you worried at the end of the lawn care season because you don't know how you're going to make it through the winter? Then you need to check out the 12-month contract from MowingInTheDarkPodcast.com. This is the same contract that I use to make my own year-round income. This 100% editable 12-month contract is available for only $5.99. The contract has rock-solid terms and conditions so that you're protected from all kinds of liability in lawn maintenance and snow removal. Get your 12-month contract at mowinginthedarkpodcast.com today. But I wanted to, you know, stay on the schedule and get something out for you today. So with that, I want to talk about the spring rush. We're coming up on it very soon. Some of you have already started into it. And um, that's that's a great thing. But what I wanted to talk about is I, I see a lot of people on social media when the spring rush time comes around is that, man, I'm so busy. The spring rush is just killing me. I can't get all the work done. I'm just, I'm buried in work. I can't get it all done. What I want to say, honestly and truthfully, is that's your fault. It's your fault that you're buried in work. It's your fault that you can't get it all done. It's your fault. The spring rush comes every year, and every year I see posts on Facebook that say, I'm just buried in work. I can't take this amount of work. Well, then don't take on the work. You don't have to take every call that comes in. You don't have to take every estimate that comes across your desk. You don't have to, to take do every estimate that is requested of you. It's your fault. And this is something that I got off of the Spring Rush rat, rat Wheel a couple years ago. When I I just decided, you know what? I'm I'm pretty happy with the clientele that I have. And I'm going to take on only, I'm going to estimate only those jobs and those um those estimate requests that come in. I'm only going to take on the ones that are less than a that are within a block radius of an existing client that I already have. And what this did is it eliminated all the other noise, all the other stuff. And it, it just, it opened up a, a space for me where I could just breathe. I could breathe. Now, yes, I know a lot of you guys do a lot of mulch uh, this time of year. I, on the other hand, don't do a lot of mulch. Um, a lot of my clients don't have beds that need to be mulched. And so... I don't do a whole lot of mulch. I've done a little bit, but I don't do a whole lot. And I don't really advertise it too much. Now, I love doing mulch. It's fun to me. I I take the whole family out. We work together and we do the mulch. We do a mulch job. Like our fam my family's done a 12-yard mulch job in 4 hours. And that's that's me, my wife, and really my older son. We all, all four of us go, but it's really the three of us that do any work. And we just lay this stuff down. I mean, it is, we are running. We run one wheelbarrow and we just run. I mean, I am shoveling that mulch into the wheelbarrow. The way we do it is we have the mulch delivered on site. So it's dumped on the ground on a tarp. And then from there, I shovel it into a wheelbarrow. I don't, I don't try to do the delivery myself. I have a company here deliver it. And then it just makes it easier for us to just cart this stuff back and forth. And I'm telling you what, we work like a machine. We've figured it out and we just work like a machine. Is it hard work? Yes. Yes, it is. 
but we knock this stuff out. I mean, it it's mulch is so easy to do, guys. And and if I if I had the the clientele around here that were were trying to get mulch done, I would take on more mulch. But really, there's so many companies in my area that do mulch that I don't get a whole lot of calls for it. So that's not part of my business, really. So I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is, yes, you want to make as much money as you can make in the spring. I get it. But if you're doing it to the detriment of, say, spending time with your family during this time, you know, maybe you're not home, maybe you're working 14 hours a day and you're missing family time. That's to me, that's a problem. So I got off that spring rush rat wheel a couple years back and I, I haven't looked back. Uh, my springs are fairly easy. I do spring cleanups for my clients. It's all, they're already scheduled. Uh, and it, it's just, I, I ease into the season and then it's just mowing. And I, these call, yeah, I might get a lot of calls. By and large, I turn them down. I turn like 99% of the people that, that contact me down because they're not within the range that I want to do work. So that's, that's why I just, I turn it down and that's fine. I, I don't understand why more people don't do that. I do it so that I have that route density. I'm not driving all over the city to get work done. I am just doing the work that I need to get done and it, it goes good. So guys, you're going to maybe hear, uh, the, my furnace kick on in the background. I'm just going to keep going here because I, I'm, I'm almost done here. And so I just want to keep going. So it is what it is. So the spring rush does not have to be a rush. You can just use your existing clients. You don't have to kill yourself in the spring. Now, if you want to, if you want to just take on all that extra work just to make that more money, that's fine. Go for it. But don't do it at the detriment of your family. All right, don't do it at the detriment of your family time. You want to make sure that you get that family time in the spring rush, just like all the rest of the year. And and that's what I do. And like I said, I'm not rushing around. Now this year I am adding a new service and I'll be talking about that soon, but I, I'm not ready to talk about it yet. So it, it just, it all, it all hinges on you. Now I'm a solo provider. Maybe you have, maybe you have a crew or whatever. It's a little bit different. You can handle more work in the spring and that's great. Do it. If you can build more revenue for your business, do it. But for me as a solo operator, I, I cannot take on more work and, and expect to have any kind of of quality of life. So what I'm when I say take on more work, I'm talking about mowing jobs. All right, in the spring, yes, I could take on more spring cleanup jobs, but in my area, I don't do the spring cleanup thing for others that aren't my client. And here's why. Because in my area, when someone calls me for a spring cleanup, what they are saying is, we didn't clean up our leaves last year. We didn't mow our lawn from August until now, until April. And so we need someone to come out and get our lawn in shape so that we can mow it till August again. That's what they're saying here in Michigan. They let, they just let their leaves drop. It killed the grass. The leaves are a matted mess. They're wet, they're nasty. They're almost impossible to clean up. Those are the kind of cleanup calls that I get here in Michigan. And I don't want to deal with that. I don't care. I don't care if I could charge $5,000. I don't want to deal with it. I don't. It, it sucks. And I'm not going to do anything that sucks. I don't need to do that. And so for me, in my business, I've chosen to do the things that I enjoy doing and that make me happy, that I can make money at, and that... It's easy, frankly, it's easy. And that's what I do. 
and and that's where I'm at so the spring rush it can be a trap it can be a trap you can become a rat in a wheel if you're not careful if you don't just get out of that wheel and say I'm I'm only gonna take on this much because I only have this much time my crew only has this much time I'm I'm only gonna take on this much work and then I'm cutting it off and if you don't do that you're in the trap you've been caught in the trap and you're just gonna be running like a chicken with your head cut off and you're gonna find out that you didn't make as much money as you thought you made and at the same time you're gonna be miserable and worn out so my encouragement to you guys is just stop the spring rush rat trap just stop it serve the, your clients that you already have serve the new clients that you want to bring on maybe do a few, you know do your mulch jobs whatever but plan it out and schedule it out in a segmented fashion so your mulch jobs you do from this date to this date spring cleanups you do from this date to this date and then you start mowing that's the easiest way to get yourself out of the the rat trap anybody that falls out of those dates that wants a spring cleanup or wants a mulch job I'm sorry you're too late contact me next year you're too late and and if you if you decide okay no I'm I, I gotta take this on I need the work then you're going outside that date and now you're messing up the next the next date block where you have your spring cleanups you're messing that up to take on a, a mulch job and then what's going to happen is your spring cleanups are going to bleed into your lawn mowing and so now you're in a position where you're running like a chicken with your head cut off because you don't know how to say no and you're going to be you're going to end up miserable and you could potentially end up broke because you're taking on this work but you don't realize how much money you're spending how much time you're wasting all that stuff just segment it out and then you know for sure I can fit this many jobs in this amount of time I can I can fit in you know I can fit this amount of mulch jobs in this block of time I can fit it this amount of cleanups in this block of time and then from there on it's all lawn mowing because when what happens is if you start taking on jobs that bleed into other areas you're you're getting that wheel spinning and you're getting behind on all your other stuff and what your existing clients are seeing is oh this guy's not as reliable as I thought he was I need somebody reliable to do my lawn I want somebody that's going to be here the same day every week that they say they're going to be here barring weather I want them to be consistent and what happens when you get on that spring rush rat trap wheel you lose the consistency because everything is starting to bleed together and you cannot service your regular clients on their regular day and people hate that they hate it so that is my word to you today is to segment your business mulch jobs then spring cleanups and then mowing and just keep it going and I'm telling you what it will revolutionize the way you do your business and the way you think and the way that people look at you your clients look at you because now you are able to be consistent over time and they are going to really appreciate and talk well about your business all right guys that's it for this one I know this was kind of light and fluffy uh, but you know what I'm not feeling great my head is pounding my throat hurts so that's it for this one guys thanks for listening thanks for watching if you're watching on YouTube or rumble and I really do appreciate it make sure you subscribe if you haven't already smash that like button if this was helpful for you and i will see you in the next episode